Hello, hello. Hello, my dear class, how are you? Good evening, good evening, good evening, welcome. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Well, yes, that's it. Well, well, welcome to uh, one before your final class. We are going to be working a little bit on practice today. We are going to do some exercises and for sure we are going to be completing the final topics of the unit. Well, I am very happy to have you here. And I want to know how your day was. What did you do? How was your day, my dear class? Good, Edgar, tell me. My day has been so busy as the whole week. Week. I think yeah, your whole week has been very because, busy. Yeah, because I we are having festivities in in the how can I say little town? In the town, uh -huh. or, in the city, you can say. And then my father is he, it has been like sick. Oh hey, my god. I've been in the hospital with him oh, yeah, my for god. many times. My God. So you have a whole mixture of things. The parties in one side yeah. and the front. Yeah. I am the president of the Adesco. Oh, my God. And I've been so busy. I imagine, right? In the morning, like, yeah, let's celebrate. And then to the hospital, they, right? They are texting me all the oh time, asking God. me something. I have to prepare for oh may, maybe for a different festive festivities oh my god well but that's that's like the it comes with with fame right because you are very important right you have a very important uh -huh. position it happens right and you say like ay porque todos vienen a mí ah si sí, yo soy presidente yeah <laughs> exactly now, now i know <laughs> yeah I, I i need to have answer for and for everything yeah exactly they, they exactly do, like that yeah. you need to have an answer for every single thing well my dear edgar i hope it's going to be nice this little moment that we will have for vacation so you can actually okay. you can actually relax and and recharge a little bit okay. thank you thank for you. sharing thank you so what about the rest what did you do today how was your day I can see only three cameras today. Solo tres cámaras veo. No sé si las demás están arruinadas. Yo no las veo. No sé si ustedes las ven, pero yo no. I cannot see the other cameras. Si no, todos nos van a jalar las orejas. A ustedes y a mí. Teacher Nati, ¿qué pasa que los niños no encienden la cámara? So, ah, uh -huh. no, mis niños encienden la cámara. I'm sorry, teacher, I'm sorry. No de llegar. Todos mis chicos encienden la cámara, les voy a decir. Nadie, nadie se queda sin encender. Good, very good. Now I can see many of you. Yeah, I think it was a problem with my internet. Good. So today we are going to do a little of practice and we are going to uh, finish with the final unit, unit 10. And uh, tomorrow we are going to work a little bit on reading comprehension and some interview questions, okay, for uh, the end of the module. But so far, so good. I hope that you have a good day today. Let's move on business because we have many things to do. Today, I brought my workbook for us to work in. There we go. I think it's okay. Yes, there you go. So we have been working on these ones yesterday and uh, the day before yesterday. 
And I have here a little of practice. We did this one yesterday, right? Remember? It says, I enjoy working in sales. Do you remember our answers? What was the answer for this one? So do I. So do I, right? Very good. What about number two? Gee, I don't. Uh -huh, but give me the, the sentence and the answer. I like working night. I like working night shift. Night shift. And it says, I don't. Gee, I don't, right? I don't like it. I can't stand getting to work late. Neither can Neither I. Can I. Neither yeah. can I, right? Neither can I. The next one. I am interested in using my language skills. So am, so am I. I. So am I, right? So am I. Very good. So here, here we have, okay, this is playing with me. We were working this, we were working on these words yesterday, right? Commute, learn languages, start her own business, use a computer, work under pressure, work with a team. These are different abilities that we need to have when we work, right? And here I have an example of Teresa and it says, Teresa enjoys being a journalist. She has to write news uh, news stories by 4 p.m. every day, but she doesn't mind working under pressure, right? Because she knows that she needs to do the things. It's like Mr. Edgar, right? With all the things, he's always working under pressure. Ichiro is a novelist, but he hates... What do you think that he hates? He's a novelist. What do you think? Maybe work with a team, right? Maybe he can. He hates working with a team, but uh, the right answer will be he hates uh, using a computer because he's a novelist. He just writes, right? It's another option, right? He hates uh, using a computer. When usually works along all the day, but she enjoys. Work with a team. Work with a team. Work with a team. Too, right? She enjoys working with a team too. Ellen works for a large company, but she's interested in? Learning. Learning. Learning languages. Start her own business. Okay, learning languages or start her own business, right? If she learns languages, he, she can start her own business. Carlos has to use Portuguese and Japanese at work, but he's not very good at... Learning languages. Learning languages, right? He's not good at learning languages. Cindy has to drive to work every day, but she doesn't like... Commute. Commuting. Commute. She doesn't like commuting. Commuting means that she has to take the bus every day to go and come or to drive to her work and back to her house. But that is commuting, right? The fact of traveling to and from work. Very good job. And we were doing this one as well, but I got a different exercise. I am happy to answer the phone. Mine. I don't mind answering the phone. What about the next one? We need to replace it with not good at. Make the solution quickly. Uh -huh. How would you transform the uh, sentence using not good at? I'm not good at making decisions. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. I am I'm going to write it here. I am not good yeah. at making. Making, Making decisions, decisions. Quickly. quickly, right? I am not good at making decisions quickly. After not good at, you have ing. I hate making mistakes. Stand. I can't stand. No, I stand. No, it was okay. I, yeah. I, I can't can stand, stand making mistakes. I can't stand making mistakes. Good. What about the next one? I don't enjoy working alone. 
with a team. I don't I enjoy working, working with a team. Okay, the sentence says, I don't enjoy working alone. No me gusta trabajar solo. I enjoy, I enjoy working with a team. I enjoy working with a team. Because in this one, it says like, no me gusta trabajar solo with a team. I enjoy working with a team. Very good. So tell me something that you are not good at. Think about yourself. Something that you are not good at. This one says, I am not good at making decisions quickly. I am not good at. I'm not, I am not good at swimming. In, swimming? In, in the sea. Oh yeah, that's very dangerous. Don't do it. You are not very good at swimming. Uh-huh. But what about personality traits, okay? Ever, tell me. Uh, hello, um, I'm not good at waiting or be patient in a line. I am not good at standing in line. I am not good at standing in line. Neither do I, right? Or maybe when a person cuts the line, I get very angry. And you are like, hey, make the line like everybody. Right. I am not good at. I am not good at. Uh, yeah, I am not good at singing. Teacher. <laughs> singing, come on! You are not good at singing, really. I am not good at keeping at keeping secrets. When someone says, "Mira, te lo voy a decir, pero no le digas a nadie, por favor, porque si va nadie se puede enterar." So I am not good at keeping that type of secrets. I'm at, not good at saving money. At saving money. I am not good, yeah. I am not good at saving money on my house, no. Teacher. Yes? I'm not good at mopping the floor. At mopping? The floor and... It, it has an strategy. I'm not good at waking up early ah oh, waking up early that's difficult but you get used to it's horrible on vacations right a mí me cae mal en vacaciones que siempre despierto a la misma hora and you are like five in the morning and everybody's sleeping and you are like bueno aquí no desayunan <laughs> at five in the morning it happens to me when i visit my mother Cuando voy de visita donde mi mamá me dice, no, dormí, levántate a la hora que vos querás. Cinco de la mañana. Tengo hambre. <laughs> so I was like preparing, looking for breakfast there. So those are things that you are not good at. In your job, what, what is something that you are not good at? Creating reports, typing, using Excel. Uh, what what is something that you are not good at? I'm not good at remembering things of the new people. Remembering things. Well, keep an agenda. Keep an Re agenda. Remembering names of the new people. Oh, remembering names of new people. You are not good at that. Look at Nidia teaching English to documents. Typing documents. Nidia les enseñando inglés ahí al tiempo. I have another student there. What is the name of my new student? Her name is Niña. 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 It's a new student. <laughs> She's my new student. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful girl. Yeah, it's like, sueltame, humana, sueltame. So oh, that was good. The dog is not, uh, she can stand being on camera, right? So you can see it. The dog can stand being on camera. Good answers, my dear students. And this is what we were doing yesterday, right? This exercise, we did it in class. And we also did this one. So we're going to move a little bit about the internet post board. And in this one, we have 
a couple of openings for work. We have four different openings. The first one, right here, and we have here the different options. Which job will you be best for? Will it, will be best for you? The worst is number one, and number uh, four is the worst. Sorry, and number one is the best. And you give reasons. We have four different jobs: flight attendant, a stock broker, journalist, and truck driver. What will be your top one? ¿Cuál pusieran como número uno de su mejor trabajo? From all these ones that I have here. Flight attendant. Number one for you, driver, a truck driver. A flight. I will be flight the journal. The truck driver. The truck driver. You will be like. Okay. And the worst. What will be the worst? Flight for you? attendant. Okay. Worst driver. Driver. Oh. Driver. Truck driver. The truck driver. Driver. Uh, stock broker, I don't know what it is. A stock broker is stock the broker. one that is on the on the bolsa de valores and that is investing and everything and uh, that you are putting money and this inversionista they call it. That's a stock broker. Yeah. Cuando me daban dos centavos en archivo wallet, a stock broker. <laughs> Cuando compraba Bitcoin, a stock broker. So my top one will be flight attendant and my number four, truck driver. Nati la trailera. Why? Why teacher? <laughs> because I can <laughs> drive. <laughs> That's why. Imagine me. Meh, meh. I can drive. So imagine if I cannot drive a small car. What about a truck? Yeah. A second Panamericana accident. No, no, forget it. <laughs> terrible. No, that was terrible. No, no, no. So that's why I don't drive, you see. Who would like to be a journalist? Quien for a journalist? De todo lo que tengo aquí. No one. Nadie for a reporter. Me, teacher. <laughs> me, me too. I will be a journalist. I, I like that. Y ahora, en las noticias. I study communication and journalism oh, wow so beautiful that's that's one of my dream things i want to do that one day i will do it near in my life i love that idea so based on this one now that i we got into the into the idea a little bit we are going to talk about the different four job openings that i have right here okay number one that is the first opening. Let me just move it so we can have it totally clear. Remember that this is an announcement, right? You cannot say, are you hard working? Do you enjoy using computer? Do you like learning about news? No, this is not, this cannot be read like this. How would you read it like a commercial? Vamos a ver, Ruth. Ruth, porque es nuestra comunicadora estrella. ¿Cómo lo leeríamos en forma de comercial? The number one. Yes. Journalist. As you are working, do you enjoy using computers? Do you like learning about new work news? This job is for you. Must be good. I I I have problem with that. that <laughs> don't idea. worry. Don't worry. Not worry. I don't see. This job is for you. Must be good at working under pressure. So evening and weekend work. Very good job. A clap for the journalists. <laughs> I can believe that you are doing it. Yeah, I see. Are you hard working? I like that one, right? Do you enjoy using computers? Do you like learning about world news? This job is for you. Must be good at working under pressure. Some evening and weekend work. Okay. The next job that we have, another Another journalist, let's see. Can we intent that? Number two. Me teacher. Go ahead, Nidia. Uh, must be will organize ener energy, energy able to make this, this 
teacher. Salud. Really. And good white numbers. Applicants must be level, level head, no sé cómo funciona, level headed. Level headed. And able, to, level headed and able to take responsibility for handling other people's money. No weekend works, but some evening work requires. Require, require. Requires. Okay, so you say, must be well organized. Must be well organized. Energetic, able to make decisions quickly and good with numbers. Applicants must be level-headed and able to take responsibility for handling other people's money. No weekend work, but some evening work required. Okay. Questions about new words? Palabras nuevas, vocabulario? Question. Which Must one? Must be. Must be. Debe ser. El que aplique debe ser. Level-headed. That is like with the... We talked about this one yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember the definition. When you... No, 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 it was juicioso. Juicioso. Juicioso, que toma decisiones con la cabeza fría. Okay, what about the next one? Number three. Another Ooh, reporter? Go ahead. Let's go, do it. Oh, okay, no previous experience necessary. But applicant must have a special license. Successful applicant will also be punctual and reliable. Excellent position for someone who enjoys who enjoys traveling. Okay, no previous experience needed. But applicants must have a special license. Successful applicant will also be punctual and reliable. Excellent position for someone who enjoys traveling. And what about the last one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, Joanna, you are going to read it uh, the second time. Don't worry. Eduardo and then Joanna. Okay. Are you good at communicating with people and solving problems? Can you speak a less to foreign language? Do you enjoy traveling abroad? Then this job might be for you. Very good job. Joanna, go ahead. Are you good? Are you good at community? Oh, Are you good at community? Communi communicating. Communicating. Are you good at communicating with people and solving problems? Can you speak at least to for, 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 foreign, 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 foreign language? Languages. Do you enjoy traveling abroad? Then this job might be for you then this job might be for you. So we have four different uh, jobs. What do you think each job is for which profession? Which profession do you think it's perfect for the first one? What are they looking for? Are you hardworking? Do you enjoy using computers, learning about the world news? This job is for you. What job could this be? Maybe your a journalist, right? A journalist. A journalist or a reporter, right? A journalist or a reporter. What about number two? An accountant? It can be. It can be an accountant. And a stockbroker. Stockbroker. And a stockbroker. A cashier. Mm -hmm. A cashier, right? We never know, right? Imagínense que tienen que dar vuelta y rápido, tienen que pensar. So it would be, it would be a good, a good job for that one. A stockbroker, an accountant, or a cashier. What about the next one? traveling around the world what is this job truck for driver a truck driver a truck driver what other job might fit here 
flight flight attendant. Okay, it could be a flight attendant, but without the license, right? A flight attendant. Okay, let's leave it on the traveling area and it could be a flight attendant. But when you say it must have a special license, you need, you instantly know that it's for driver, right? A flight attendant. You need a special passport, maybe, for a flight attendant. And the last one. This one is for? This one is for? Flight attendant. This one is for the flight attendant, right? This one is for the flight attendant, right? Oh my God, I made it. This is for the flight attendant. For a uh, uh, traductor. Okay, an interpreter. An interpreter or a flight attendant, right? If you love traveling or an international relationship a person in charge. That will be very good job on the different definitions of the jobs. Let's see. I have here, let me just move because I am going to use this one tomorrow. Here, okay. This is what we started doing yesterday, right? It's exactly what, a, what we, were, we were checking. And here I have the part of grammar the one that I ask you to work on your manual, right? I wouldn't want to be an accountant. Why? ¿Por qué no me gustaría ser un accountant? Because I'm terrible at math. Because I am terrible at math. I would like to be a novelist. I would like to be a novelist because because I am very, very creative. creative because I am very creative, right? Creative. I could never have. I could never be a nurse because I don't like. I don't like, don't like hospitals. I don't like hospitals. I will make a bad waiter because I'm very uh, because I. Yes. Because I am, I am very forgetful, right? It's like, what what did you ask for? Pizza, chicken? I don't remember. Here you have a sandwich, and because I could I really like traveling. I could be a good flight attendant because I really like traveling, right? Awesome. I really like traveling. I am going to call the attendants because before the next activity. Antes de la siguiente actividad voy a pasar lista porque nos va a tomar un poquito más de tiempo. So let me just stop sharing and let me just open my attendance yesterday i told you to think about the question why are you studying english right i told you to think about the question and if you didn't you can think about right now why are you studying english i need you to give me a reason about it. and we're going to do that after the attendance alejandra beatriz Alejandra? In the chat. Oh, thank you very much. Angel Alejandro? I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now I can see you. Eh, Cecilia de Los Angeles? Here, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe? Here. Edgar Abel? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Edson Stanley? Mr. Edson? Hey, que se me hizo don Edson, lo acabo de ver ahí. Se me fue. Okay. Eduardo José? Present teacher. Elvira? Present teacher. Thank you. Ever? Gabriela Michelle? Present. Isabel? Present. Jenny? I'm here, teacher. Hi, Jenny. Hey, we were missing you all these days. La hemos extrañado un montón. Yeah, I'm sorry, teacher. I have problem. Okay, but you are here. That's important. Hey, Joanna, yes, Yesenia? Thank you. 
Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carla Fabiola. Carlita Fabiola. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Voy entrando. <laughs> Catherine Alejandra. Catherine, uh -huh. Catherine. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Catherine is not here today. Miguel. Miguelito. I can see you, but I cannot listen to you. Nidia. Thank you. Raul. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Thank you. Raul Elis. Raul. <laughs> Raul de Jesus. Thank Present you. Teacher. Present teacher. Reina and Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Ya ven, para ver Present. si están despiertos. Eso es para ver si están poniendo atención. <laughs> eh, Samuel Isaac. Thank you, Samuel, your microphone. Sandra Leticia. I'm here, teacher. And Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Eso es para ver si están, si están ahí. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. Si están en la no jugada. Lo Don't worry. I was like, Miguel, Miguel. And yes. Eh, Edson escribió en WhatsApp. Oh. Okay, I will I will tell the people in in charge. Okay, thank you, thank you, Joanna. You are my eyes on the chat. I love that. Well, my dear students, I ask you to prepare your answer about why were you studying English, and we were going to share a little bit about this. Well, we're going to have a little bit of discussion time. And we're going to talk. Why are you studying English? What are your goals to be here? ¿Qué los mueve de cada día venir aquí? ¿Qué es lo que buscan? ¿Qué es su objetivo al momento de hablar inglés? Okay. We are going to have a small groups uh, of three or four members. And uh, I need you to participate and in, in talk. Okay. This is going to be a free speaking moment. And you are going to share with your group about the reason. Why are you studying English? What is your purpose? What are you pursuing here? Okay, so that's the answer. That's the answer that you are going to give to the group. Why are you studying English? Let's go. I am going to send you the invitation right now. Please add yourself to the group and ask your questions. Okay, cuando estemos en el grupo, usted le puede preguntar a otro. Por ejemplo, me dicen si yo estoy en el grupo con Nidia y Edgar. ¿verdad? Yo le puedo preguntar, Nidia, why are you studying English? And she can give me the answer. Edgar, why are you studying English? And then he is going to give his answer, okay? Try to give details. That's the important part. Accept my invitation right now, my dear students. And I will be listening to all the groups uh, during this participation. I will be visiting the different groups to listen. Thank you. Ok, José Daniel, Miguelito, ¿no le llegó la invitación? Hello. Thank you. Regresó, teacher. Eh, no me pude conectar a ningún grupo. Ok, ahorita. ¿Le llegó? There you go. So we are going to check on what students are answering. The question for the groups was, why are you learning English? Let's go and check. Eh, 
in the third place, I will try to to apply uh, to uh, to to uh, to apply uh, in a call center because I want to to answer phone calls in English. That's very exciting for me, imagining that I'm going to to call uh, from uh, from calls in member uh, speaking with with uh, for uh, with foreign people um, in the fourth uh, in the fourth place because I think uh, the bright is necessary uh, to to be active uh, um, the bright is necessary to be active and that's why I am learning English dear dear partners nice. I love your goals, mostly on the one that you mentioned that the brain has to be active. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Hey, if you need connections in the call centers, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I can I can guide you on, on the interview. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Uh, who's next? I'm the next. Oh, okay. Well, in my case... Uh, my uh, uh, reason uh, because I'm studying English right now is because I want to be the English teacher of my kids. My kids is three, three years, three years old, and I want to. Uh, he, I would like to. He could be bilingual person. Uh, in fact, he is studying in uh, a, a bilingual kindergarten. And uh, as for example, yesterday he he has a uh, exposition uh, about the part of the body in English. Uh, and I have to um, study and and practice with with him. So I need to be a, bilingu a bilingual person in order to teach him. Wow, nice. I, I really love this stage in life. The, he, he is in a very good stage, right? When you are very young, you can practice and you can, you can do well. That's what I did with my son, that you can teach him a lot of vocabulary colors, numbers, uh, figures, animals, teach him a lot of vocabulary. Now, yeah, I can say that my kid is one of the best ones in English at school, right? So he helps the other kids uh, with, with the problems at school. So Jenny, you are in the good way. Continue doing that good job with your son. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Eduardo, go ahead. Okay. Um, I study English because I want to improve my opportunities to find a good job because and because I want to push myself outside of my comfort zone and because learning English is a good way communicate my ideas with others and because I enjoy watching sitcoms and I want to understand the original jokes and more. Yeah, original jokes in the original language. Fantastic sharing. I would love to stay and listen to all of you. I need to check the rest, but I need you to finish, okay? Miguel, uh, Ever, and Sandra, continue, please. A lot of vocabulary and, and practice more the verbs. The verbs. <laughs> Your friends, the verbs. Yeah, I need to learn a lot of English. I want to learn a lot of English. I want to speak like my teacher speaks English. Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of reading. Reading helps a lot. I think that's the best way. Okay. I, I just love reading. And I have read so many books that you cannot imagine. 
but reading helps a lot. So okay. that's that's my recommendation. Okay, continue, my dear students. Continue working. Okay. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, Tisha. Aha. Uh -huh. So tell me, what is the reason for Nidia to be here? What is the reason for Nidia? You listen to her. Ya le contó, ya saben todos. Why is Nidia learning English? I remember if she wants to visit another country, she can she can speak if I if I know wrong. Maybe I remember. <laughs> if I am not mistaken, you say, if I am not mistaken, si no estoy equivocada, if I am not mistaken, she said she said that. Okay, she said that she, she wants is. to travel. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't get the message. Ah, good, good. A better job opportunity. I got it. I got it. Is it true, Nidia, that you want to travel and you want better job opportunities? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, uh, to okay. communicate with other people. To communicate with other people. Okay, good. Let's see. Jose Daniel, why are you learning English? I'll try new opportunity. Okay. To get better opportunities. Uh-huh. What else? All right. That's the main the main thing to to uh, have better opportunities. Como capacitaciones, oportunidad de Oh, the trainings. Exactly. Yeah, I remember. I remember you mentioned Yeah, I, I just remember that you mentioned that you have the opportunity to travel oh. and train. Yes. Well, let's go back. Maybe I can fix. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dear class. Welcome back. Okay, give me give me one second. I just need to fix something. Okay, I am back. Thank you very much for, for waiting. Sorry, we had an issue here. Situation, we had a situation. Well, so uh, thank you very much for sharing. You were uh, having very good goals about learning a new language. I really like to listen to many of your answers, right? You have very clear goals about the things that you want to do. And that is very important, right? I always say, eh, se lo dije el módulo pasado, eh, si tienen un, un eh, objetivo claro para aprendizaje, lo van a hacer bien. Pero si estamos aprendiendo solo porque ay, es obligatorio, right? You are not going to do it in the correct way. And I really like to listen that you are having very, very clear goals for, uh, for your, your future with English. Well, let's continue here with the next exercise. Thank you very much everybody for your answers. And I will go right here. Let me open my presentation. Here. And yes. Okay. 
here I have the manual for you. We're going to go over the final parts of the manual. And this is what we were working on. And I was asking you yesterday, what is a job that you will never do because you don't like it, right? And you were saying, no, teacher, I will never be a, a flight attendant because I am afraid of heights. What is one job that you consider that you are not good at? That you say like, no, teacher, no, para ese yo no nací para eso. What is one job that you consider that is not for you? Teacher, I could <laughs> never be a doctor because I hate the blood. <laughs> oh yeah, I hate blood. So you say- mm -hmm. Maybe. It's in the injuries, for sure, right? I could never be a doctor because I hate blood. What is another job that you say that you are not good at? Uh, teacher, I could never be a, a pilot because I'm afraid um, the heights. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights, right? I'm afraid of heights. Yes, I think it's like, yeah, the pilot cannot be afraid. I think that's the only person who cannot be afraid. Another one, what is one job that you could never be good at? Do you think that you could be a good teacher? I could never be a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> I can work with children. With children. And children are very, they are very honest. If they don't like something, they tell you and, and they are very honest with the comments as well. I remember that uh, in my social service, I went to teach to a kindergarten with a friend. My friend was very chubby, right? Mi amigo era bien gordito, pero bien gordito. And he was wearing a yellow shirt with lines, right? Era amarilla con rayas negras. And one of the kids said, teacher, teacher, you look like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> the kids were like, Shh, no le digas. Si sí se ve como gusano, pero no le digas. They say the other ones. And I was like, <laughs> and my friend was so traumatized that he never, he never wore the same shirt again. Nunca se volvió a poner la camisa. Because the kids, the kids thought, and he, they told him that he looked like a worm. Se veía como un gusano y le dijo, sí se ve como un gusano, pero no le digas, le dijo el otro. And we were like, Eat, come on. And my friend, he was, he was very traumatized. But kids are very beautiful when you work with them. I think I could never be, I could never be an accountant. I like that profession, but I am not very good with balance and things enough. I am not very good at that. Do you think that you could be a very good military or a police officer? Maybe. No. Maybe. Is it like, corramos, para donde va, coronel? Corran. <laughs> it will be, it will be impossible, right? Will you, will you be a very good veterinarian? Yes or no? No, Tisha. No. I no. Never, in my case, no, never. because I don't like animals. Oh my God. Sandrita. I like animals, but uh, I, I don't like being like veterinary. Like, okay, being in charge of their health, no thank you, right? Sandra, you were going to say something. Um, teacher, how do you say puss? <laughs> I don't like. Puss. I don't. I don't remember <laughs> the word, but I will. I will look for you. I will look for it for you. Don't worry. In este momento se encontramos. I don't remember. I think it's the same, if I am not mistaken. So, uh, but you hate that. Me too. I don't like it. And that's like the what. Yeah, it's the same. Puss. 
in English. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I could Angel. never. I could never bet. I could never bet. I okay. don't like us. Yeah, neither <laughs> neither do I, right? And I don't really like I don't really like any of these horrible things. Okay, so uh, let's see. I have here uh, I wouldn't mind working as. I wouldn't mind. So if there is one that you don't like, for sure you could never be. But it's like, I, I wouldn't mind working as a, because, and I can say, I wouldn't mind working as a seller because I am very good with people. So I can give you that. Uh, teacher, I wouldn't mind working as a driver because I, I can drive. I can to drive. Because I can drive, right? Very good. Another one? I wouldn't mind to work as a bartender because I am a social people, a social worker. Right? <laughs> I thought that you were going to say a social drinker. That was like, what? <laughs> as a bartender, because you are very social. Good. Can you prepare different types of drinks? Yes, I can prepare margaritas, uh, sex and the bitch, and I don't remember. In, my, in, the, mid in the middle of the class, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you don't see Edgar, he's doing this. <laughs> in the middle of the class. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Este es agua, este es agua. I wouldn't... Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind working as a bartender because I working in that many years ago. Oh, really? You were a bartender uh, many years ago. You see, you can have a bar together. Yeah, if you are a, a good bartender, you are going to get a lot of tips. Okay, right? you get a lot of tips, definitely. So those are different. You have the faith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you have if you have a local to do this, if you have a place, then I can have chefs. Who wouldn't mind to be a chef? A quien no le importaría ser el chef en nuestro restaurant. Let's see. Uh -huh. My internet. Thank you. Thank you. Internet. I am back. Ya volví. No canten Victoria. <laughs> Who wouldn't mind being the chef in our restaurant? ¿Quién sería el chef de nuestro restaurante? Miti chef. <laughs> okay, there you have. Now we have we have the chef. Who would be the waiter? ¿Quién sería el mesero? Who would be the waiter? Edgar, because he's a social person. <laughs> He's a social person, not because he's going to stop talking there with the the with the clients and the the comments will never come to the kitchen, right? Y el mesero, ay, sentado. Who would be the cashier? Who is good with numbers? Me, teacher. Okay, there you have. I will mind working as a cashier. Because you are good with numbers. Very good. Who will be the security guard? ¿Quién sería el seguridad? The security guard. Uh-huh. No one. <laughs> okay. You can say, like, I wouldn't mind being the security guard because I am good at fighting, you see? Who would be who will be the the artist in charge of uh, entertainment? ¿Quién estaría a cargo de, de la diversión? El artista. Who? Oh. Gabriela Michelle. And now karaoke. <laughs> okay, so you see, we can have our own restaurant. I can see it now. Well, my dear students, very good. So I wanted to go over the book here, okay, just to go over the last activities. 
here, in this one, you can write your ideas, right? I think I will make a good flight attendant because I am a very friendly person and I enjoy meeting people. Exactly like what Edgar mentioned, I could be a very good bartender because I am very sociable, right? Because I like to drive, said Jesus, right? I will be a very good driver, right? And in this way, you can put it on writing, right? I would be a very good teacher because I love to teach. I love to share my ideas with students. And the final thing that we have for the unit, that is the one that we are going to use tomorrow for the final class, it's find the job that is right for you. We are going to work on reading and pronunciation. So please, if you can practice this during the day, that would be fantastic because uh, if you can look for new words, look for pronunciation, because on the class we are going to practice reading and comprehension, right? That is the last page on your manual. It's the last page on the reading. So if you can advance during the day and you can find new words, new vocabulary, new pronunciation, do it. So when we come to the class tomorrow, we can actually work on the reading, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow with the manual, right? That will be our final activity. And we're going to do some correction uh, exercises before we leave. What, in which sentence, sorry, is it missing an A or an N? In this case, it says, Jerry could be, Jerry could never be nurse. And here we are missing a. Ah. Jerry could never be a nurse or a teacher. A teacher. Because he is very bad tempered and impatient with people. Impatient. On the ah. other hand, is efficient. Is it missing is something? Different. Efficient. No falta algo aquí. Podemos poner a Exactly. We can say an. Exactly, right? He's an efficient and reliable person. So he will make a good bookkeeper or an accountant. Account. An accountant. What is the difference? What is the difference? When you use an, it's because you have a vowel, right? And you use a when you have a consonant, right? Jerry could be a nurse or a teacher because he is very, he is very bad tempered and impatient with people. On the other hand, he is an efficient and reliable person. So he would make a good bookkeeper or an accountant, okay? What about the second one? How can you fix it? ¿Cómo arreglarían la segunda? Executive. Making decisions. Because she's very good. Funny. She's, she's very creative, right? Creative. Christine will make a terrible lawyer yes. or an executive. She isn't good at making decisions. On the other hand, she will make an excellent actress or an artist because she's very creative and funny, right? The most common thing is that before the professions, you use a or an. You say, I will be a very good teacher. I will be a very good lawyer. I will be a very good judge or a cashier, right? A mechanic. You use a or an before the professions, okay? So we did this one yesterday as well. And this is too long to do it together. <laughs> but I can send you a picture and you can work on it. 
Well, my dear class, tell me. Tell me, tell me. And that's the next, the next module. Okay, ya les pasaba el siguiente módulo, la siguiente unidad. <laughs> well, so that will be it for today. I really appreciate your time and your practice. It was a lot of speaking today. And we are going to uh, meet tomorrow for our final class. Please practice the reading, okay? We are going to use it. Okay. okay. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. I see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Have a good, good night. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye bye. Edgar, go to sleep. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Ah, you okay. were. You were <laughs> bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Take care.